So there used to be a road here when it became a preserve. They took all this out so that the tide can wash across it now and turned it back into an island back at, in, at high tide. Mount Airy up there, sugar loaf next to it. You can drive to Mount Airy. You can hike to the top of Sugar Loaf. Over there is Hope Island, Lone Tree Point, which is where the Thousand Trails is that we're staying at this weekend. So this used to be a private island. And I haven't been out here since the early 80s. But now it's a state park or preserve in conjunction with the native tribe here. The Swinomish tribe. which other than these houses along here they have this whole peninsula that runs down this way as their lands Hope Island over there is a marine state park there's mooring balls there's mooring balls like I can't see it on there, but right over there, there's mooring balls. On the other side of this island, out that way, this is Deception Pass. And this is interesting. High tide. You can't get out here. But it's low tide right now. So it's no problem. This is what beaches look like in the Puget Sound. Not very sandy. Mostly gravel. And mud. <laughs> Kilkit Island. I can't even pronounce the word, the name of the preserve up there. And what's not on the map is out over here is Skagit Island, which is another state park island. Now we get to climb a hill.
don't know if we can get down onto that beach. Memorial Day weekend 2024. It's 50 degrees out. Wind's blowing. Threatening to rain. This is typical Memorial weekend in the Pacific Northwest. We have rainy Memorial weekends more often than we don't. This is the end of the trail, gotta go up. Here's a madrona tree. Native to the Pacific Northwest. When I was a kid, we used to peel the bark. But these only grow near proximity to salt water. There's a great big broadleaf maple. And look, this time of year, all the fur has new growth on it. This is also the time of year when cottonwoods start flying. Usually a couple weeks from now. Ooh, caterpillars are really bad this year.
All right, let's go down here to the beach. Deception Pass over there. Here's Gadget Island. Looks like these guys are anchored here for the weekend. <laughs> now there, you can see the boats over there on Hope Island. Going up to the mooring balls. So this is the beach here. Now when I came here, 1980. I got to drive down here on this island. And I'm not sure where the house was. There was a bunch of us kids in college that became friends with a gal whose mother was the caretaker here. And we got to come down here for a weekend. And we caught crab right out here in the bay. And had a big crab feed. We only did that once. And I've never been back to that. But anyway, what I was saying before my battery died. is that they were going to make this into a nuclear power plant on this island. Can you imagine? I think the house is probably up there. Which is now the day use area. Horsetail. The weed we homeowners hate. Ah, this must be where the house was. an old garden bed here and steps so this is where the house was torn it all down That photo that was back there was the back of the house. The swimming pool is probably out here somewhere. This 
So like I said earlier, Skagit Island out here is another state park island. And on this side of the island, there's some mooring balls. It's kind of exposed, especially blown out in the north. But we've come up and tied up there waiting for the tide change at Deception Pass. Just over there. Which really can only go through in slack tide. And about 20 minutes on each side of slack tide. We came through there once and it was like 40 minutes past slack tide and it was already five knots flood coming through that pass. It gets upwards of eight and a half knots going through there. I could do a video of that area over there too. A couple of deception pass, deception pass state parks over there. There's a couple of nice bays on the north side. So put it in the comments. Me to do a video over there. So, anyway, now it's time for the hike out of here. There's some old roadies over there. Must have been part of the original landscaping. Nice cedar tree at the dead top, which is typical. Happens a lot. They'll reach a certain height and then the tops will die out. And the trees will live on. I want to try to find some other pictures of the house on the online and include them in this video but this is obviously not native looks like juniper and ivy growing in it let me get over here Look at these nasty things. Those are stinging nettles. There's more juniper down here. So you're not allowed to bring dogs down here on this preserve. So keep that in mind. So there's another picture of the house. You can see the swimming pool right here. The bay's off in the background. And you need a Washington State Discover Pass to park in the parking lot. There are a few spots out on the road. You choose not to pay. You can also buy a pass when you're here in the parking lot. Okay, so here's where we are right here. Back up here is the parking lot. And we walk down here. If you 
you like this kind of content, and I'm fairly new at it, so I'm just trying to get used to being on camera. So if you like this kind of content, I'd appreciate a sub. And, you know, all the things to feed the algorithm beast. So more people can see this. Here's the South Trail. This looks good. That's a well pump house originally. Oh, salmon berries. Salmon berries. Looks like the birds are getting them. Oh, here's some salmon berries, which are pretty good to eat. Looks like the well. Here's an old rotten fallen cedar. It's a biggie too. See the stump back there. Oh, there's a monster fur. Look at that one. That's got burn on it. Probably from a few hundred years ago type fire. Big leaf maple. Fern, fiddlehead. When they're younger, these things are all rolled up tight. And then that new growth comes and they unwrap. I think this is Salau or Oregon Grape. I always get the two confused, but I think it's Salau. That might be working great. I think these are wild roses. A 
and now we're back at the junction. North Trail, Middle Trail we went on, on South Trail. By that map, it's a mile on the road from the parking lot to the day use area or the old house site. That's the bottom side of a tree stump. That's what typically happens when trees blow over here in the northwest. The whole stump just uproots. This is probably sitting on bedrock, so it probably didn't have much of a footing. Here's some more Madrona. Bark peeling Madrona. There's a nice frame shot of Lone Tree. <laughs> and we're almost back down to the Isthmus. City of Anacortes is just over that hill. It's there. And LaConnor is over that way. That's a lot of driftwood. Well everybody, I think that'll just about do it from here. And thanks for watching.